My name is Karen Remler and I'm the director of the Five College Women's Studies Research Center. The overall mission of the center is to bring together feminist scholars, teachers, and activists from around the world to collaborate and work with five college faculty here in the five colleges. And I'm really pleased that we can combine our symposium with the actual making of a zine. Uh, comics really open up this ability to draw and to name things. And so, like issues of, of trans bodies and inclusion of trans bodies, different types of bodies. Did anyone do, did anyone do that question? Group two? Yes. We just came out of a session where people were saying, teaching should be about making. Um, I, I wanted to... When I was here as a research associate, I, thought, I felt as if I'd died and gone to heaven. It was peaceful, it was interesting, it was a place that was very conducive to writing, and there aren't very many places like that. As we celebrate our 21st year, the Centre has become a hub for collaborative research development of gender studies courses. I'm taking a class right now from Professor Willie, who's a five college uh, women's studies center professor, and so she works through all of the colleges. Um, and our class is actually takes place at the center, so that's how I first learned about it. And in particular, we, we have created a series of learning communities in which our research associates from around the world and local five college faculty students and IT colleagues work together. So I study um, African American studies and Professor Donaldson is this semester was teaching a course uh, called Growing Up Black, um, which uh, surrounded literature and African American studies and um, narratives of black childhood. I'm specifically looking at black families and the black childhood and how they're affected by me. It was really wonderful to see our research associates, for instance, um, someone like Disha Mullock, who um, has been giving talks and visiting classes, and talking about the work she does in rural India, working with local women to, to actually put together a newspaper. I couldn't imagine a self not engaged in resisting in some tiny, relentless way in imaginations of new worlds. 